welcome to Brain Eaters, where each week we talk about a different thing that'll eat at your brain. I'm Mary Lords. And I'm Hallie Kiever. And this week, imposter foods. Hmm. Yeah. So, I was at a restaurant recently, and I was enjoying calamari, as I want to do. Mm-hmm. And Delicious. We all enjoy it. <laughs> so great. One of my friends pointed out that I might be eating pig anus. Right. Uh, there's an episode of This American Life about this exact subject, mm-hmm. and basically what they found out is... Um, there have been all these rumors about people using pig buttholes as calamari just because they're cheaper. And they did a test where basically they fried up a bunch of pig anuses and a bunch of calamari. What it comes down to is ain't nobody telling the difference. No. You can't tell the difference. Yeah. Um, so, and apparently this has been happening with a lot of foods. Uh, for example, we were also reading about um, sushi. A lot of fish, uh, they're kind of play, playing fast and loose with like what fish it yeah. is. So if you see something labeled white tuna, which is like not a real thing, that's code for Escalar. And Escalar oh. will give you diarrhea. But because we can't eat it. That's why it's a really oh. cheap, wonderful fish, but we can't really process it. And so... What is wrong with us? Why are we know. doing this to ourselves? I don't know. That makes sense why we shouldn't be eating Escalar. I for the yeah. pig anus thing. Frankly, yeah. this is just my opinion, but it's fine. Yeah, I'll eat a pig anus. I don't shit. Yeah, I really like. I'm a person that likes tripe and intestine. Oh yeah, I like scrapple. That's a Pennsylvania food where you just take all the garbage parts. You take the scraps. Yeah. of a pig. You make it in a loaf. You slice it up and you fry yeah. it for breakfast. That sounds delicious to me. Yeah. So I honestly like the idea that we're using more parts of the animals that right. we're slaughtering anyway, instead of like grabbing tiny baby squids from the sea and chopping them up for right. calamari. I kind of like it better. I agree. And like, again, like I eat sausage and uh, yep. you know, a lot of sausages have a natural casing, which is an intestine yeah. uh, wall or whatever. And I sent it to a friend of mine and, and then my friend was like, well, it's different than like anuses. I'm like, no, it's literally the exact same thing. <laughs> and also it's like, I'm eating a, a dead animal. Like yeah. I, for some people that's disgusting and I understand it. But then yeah. it'd be like, oh, eating this part's it's gross, but this part's gross. Parts? Yeah, that's Guys, interesting. Well, come on. <laughs> like, I just don't, I just don't think it's gross at a certain point no. where it's like, if you wash out a butthole, first of all, I've eaten an actual butthole like in real life. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, like <laughs> if we want to be real about like what, like things are just messy. Things just uh, that's just they should include. Around. They should include that in the study. Side question: Have you ever eaten a human butthole? And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of those guys who are te- who eat the calamari, they're not eating anyone's butthole. No, they would never. Not. A butthole. Well, if you washed it out and fried it, maybe. Right. And they would not <laughs> eat a person's butthole sexually, or everything is gross when you think about it. It's all dead carcasses. Right. We're eating dead animals. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. Slow your roll if you're going to pretend like eating a pig's butthole is any less disgusting <laughs> like than you're above, anything else. You're above eating. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're too good to eat a pig's butthole. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't believe it. I'm not too good to eat a pig's butthole. No. I have a harder time when there's chemicals in my food than if, right. if you've switched out squid, legitimate squid, for pig anus, legitimate right. pig anus, I'm fine. If right. If you switched out squid for plastic. Right. Which somebody probably is. That's the thing is yeah. like, if somebody could pull that off, they would put it off, pull it off. Yeah. And I guess that's the thing is like, yeah, like it doesn't really bother me the idea of it. Be a lying. Yeah. You just don't, you should be lying. <laughs> no one should be lying. I want to know what other foods do you think could be oh my an imposter food. I feel like anything, like anything could, like I feel like fish. That's a great example because, like, I don't know, I don't yeah. know fish. Like, no. I don't, I wouldn't be able to be like this is tuna, like separate it out. Right. So anything like that where it's like. I don't really know. That's the thing that's a bummer is when you're getting something like that that you think is a whole food. Like you think olive right. oil, this is olive oil. Fish, this is fish. Yeah. And there's it's literally switched out. Because when you yeah. get a packaged food or you get fast food, you're like, this could be anything. Right, you just accept that. And you've that. made that decision. You're right. Like, I'm just tasting fry oil. Like I'm yeah. not even tasting food. I'm just tasting like fat and salt. Yeah. That's great right now. Yeah. Yeah. But I, to buy yeah. a thing that you can see with your eyes and it not be that thing. Right. What do you think is going to eat at your brain this week? Boy, I guess it's just the idea that we actually can't eat Escalar and it gives us diarrhea. Because that sucks. Because <laughs> it's like, but you know what? I'm sure I've eaten it and then just had diarrhea later and be like, well, I'm not diarrhea. Unrelated. I'm not unrelated diarrhea. Yeah. yeah. I did probably didn't make that connection. Yeah. And that, I'm going to think about that because now every time I have diarrhea, I'm going to be like, was I given a fake food? Probably. Probably. Or I just have diarrhea all the time. I don't know. <laughs> or <laughs> you just have IBS. Yeah. <laughs> what if IBS is people eating fake food all the time? Whoa, it probably is. What about you? What's going to eat at your brain? Yeah, I think for me it's that I I expect a certain level of deception when I'm buying packaged goods. We all. When I'm buying, yeah. yeah. When I'm buying a thing that I expect is fish. Yeah. 
Ugh, and it's not? Guys. What else? What else? What else? What else are we eating? If you have something that's gonna eat at your brain, leave it in a comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you next week on Brain Eaters. Pig Eaters. I would eat a pig eaters right now. Hmm, let's go do that.